Welcome to Kung Fu Havoc number two. At the event of making this video, I've had some community guideline strikes on YouTube. So if you're seeing this and I haven't had a video in a while, now I'm about to tell you why. So apparently the gods of YouTube are just as bad as the gods of TikTok, and they have slapped me down with a couple of community guideline strikes for something that, again, I posted in 2019. It is currently 2023. I do not know what day it is that you are seeing this video, but today's date is May the 21st. So if you're seeing this video any day after May the 21st, that means they actually allowed me to post the four videos before this and um, this video. Because the four videos before this one, I talk about Transformers. I show plot holes. I show Transformers videos and stuff like that, which I get clearly off of YouTube which they will be able to see because it has a little YouTube moniker down there. So, um, first let me apologize to the 276 people because the day I tried to post my videos is the day I found out that I couldn't because I had some community guidelines as I just dated today. It's like May whatever the hell I just said two minutes ago. There, um, there's some, um, indiscrepancies in my community guideline, you know, I talked about a young lady who was five years old in 2019 who was sexually assaulted by men and YouTube slapped a guidelines violation on there. The title clearly states not for children and YouTube pretty much gave me the finger on it. But the, the title clearly states that the video was not for children. But somehow or another, the guys at YouTube decided, hey, fuck Echo. We're not going to let this video go. We're just going to... um." Slap them with a violation so nothing current can be dropped. But this should happen in 2019. No. It seems like making awareness videos for YouTube is a very bad idea. I don't want anybody, child, woman, boy, girl, adult, whatever, to be sexually assaulted. And that's what that video was about. But they hit me with a community guideline. So if by chance, this video and every video before this is posted, when it comes back, I generally make sure that I check the not for children's box or age limit box. And I know damn well that I did that from the very first time that I got a community guideline strike. Someone at, t at, at YouTube clearly doesn't like people telling the truth. Clearly don't do their research. I learned this stuff in class. I have two degrees in this dresser here, which I have um, made videos about. Um, police science and criminal justice. So now you guys are like chacking on my freedom of speech. You no, know, community guidelines or not, I still have freedom of speech. And you have decided at YouTube that I don't have the right to make sure that people are aware of these children being SA'd by these adults and being paraded around and then you wait 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023 you wait four freaking years to give me a, a slap in the face for that 2019 check the date I literally just checked it when I did this shit it's just 2019 and so I can't post videos for some shit from 2022, 2021, 2020, 2019, four freaking years ago. So if you're watching this and you're on YouTube, either they let me post again or they completely ban me, which wouldn't be impossible. But this is how this works, man. You, you get on here and you tell some truth and these people in charge of social media give you the finger. But, you know, hey. It is what it is. So to the 276 of you who are here, first, I thank you. And if I am not allowed to come back after this video is posted, it's been a blast. Find me on TikTok. Find me on Instagram. I would say find me on Facebook, but I don't really use Facebook since I use Instagram mostly. But that being said, thank you guys. It's been an honor to have 276 people give me the time of day without giving me judgment, without giving me problems, and accepting me for who I am. Every bit native, every bit black, every bit white. I thank you for everything. Be seeing you.